Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be walking you through step by step on how to set up a brand new TP Link router as well as port forwarding for your PlayStation 5. If you look at the box here, my TP Link router model is AC1900, and this is how it looks like. So, let me show you what are the cables in the back of the router here. The black cable on the far right is your power cable which connects to the outlet that draws the power. The white cable here is coming from your modem or your internet service provider. So the monthly internet service that you're paying for, that cable here should be connected to the blue port. On the orange port here, those are your local area network where all the devices like your computer, your printer, your internet camera or your laptop, all the cables should be connected to the orange port, which is the local area network. Okay, so my laptop here is the blue cable is connected to the LAN port and my white cable here connects to the internet service provider, which is the modem that goes into um, the internet. All right, so let me switch the screen and show it to you how to set up the router. So on my laptop, with that blue cable that was connected that I showed you earlier, now the setup process is you need to open up the browser. You can use Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, or Firefox. Here, you want to type in tp link wifi.net and hit enter. Once you hit enter, you bring you to the setup page. The router recognized this is the first time for us to set up, so it would ask us to put in a new password. Go ahead and type in your password and click let's get started. Here it would ask you to select your time zone. I'll be selecting Hawaii. Click next. Select connection type. 99% of you guys in the residential area would probably fall under dynamic IP. Dynamic IP meaning is automatic IP address that provided by your internet service provider. If you're in a commercial section, you may have the static IP. So if your internet service provider tells you that you need to put in a static IP, then you need to click on this button and click next to to go set it up but like I said majority of you guys in the residential area more likely would be the dynamic IP address even for some commercial and businesses you guys are using the dynamic IP so for this video purpose I'll be using the dynam dynamic IP because my IP here is also a dynamic IP so click next Um, the router would identify the dynamic IP by default, so just leave it as is. You don't have to do anything. Just click next. Here is the personalized Wi-Fi settings. It would ask you to put in the Wi-Fi name. Go ahead and put in your Wi-Fi name and also the Wi-Fi password. I'll be leaving it as default that came with the router. I'll be clicking next at this point. It is applying the settings and as well as connecting to the internet. Now it says success, meaning that we have already set up the router. So this router is already set up and we are ready to use it. Now, TP-Link wants to get the cloud service, offering you the service for that. And I do not need that service. I'll be skipping this process. Now this is the dashboard board of the router that sh shows you all the controller uh, like a dashboard where you can take a look at what is happening in your network i have the internet that is a little check mark here which is good that means i'm getting the internet signal coming in from my internet provider this is my router i have the 2.4 wi-fi and a 5g wi-fi broadcasting as well as the client here that shows me um, how many devices are connected to it. 
so i have only one device is being plugged in which is my laptop and this is the ip address for that all right so the setup for the new router is completed i'll be logging out yes and the next step here is i'll show it to you on how to set up the port forwarding for your playstation 5. all right here's the step on how to set up port forwarding on tp-link router so first you need to log into your microsoft edge or any browser go ahead and type in tp link wi-fi dot net and log in with the password that we just created here it bring you to your dashboard i assume that you have more than one connection that you, which is your playstation 5 uh, for my case i don't have the playstation 5 connected so i'm not able to show you that but i'll walk you through the step by step on how to do the port forwarding on the dashboard here you want to click on this advanced icon on the very end on the left column here go ahead and click on net forwarding and click on port forwarding in this port forwarding page what you want to do is you want to click on add here you want to give it a name of the just give it a name so that you know what you're forwarding to i'll be naming ps5 and i'll give it 1935 so that is the port that i'm going to open and the name that i'm going to open for the port device ip address you should click view connected devices and here like I said, I only have the laptop being connected, only one device, but you should have more than one because your PlayStation by now should be all connected to it. Assuming this is the PlayStation 5, if you're not too sure, sometimes it would say PlayStation 5 here, or try to match the Mac IP, uh, the Mac address. How do you find out the Mac address? You can go to your PlayStation 5. And go to the network and that should be able to identify your mac address okay let's assume this is the playstation 5 click on it and it would give you an ip address for that now the external port what port do we need to port forward is 1935 that's the port that we need to forward to and internal port is 1935 should you select a TCP or UDP? Well, the 1935 is TCP. And click Save. So you have the PlayStation 5, 1935, that is just a name that we are port forwarding to. Now we need to forward a couple more ports because the PlayStation 5 need to have at least, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, five i don't know seven or so but I'll, I'll 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 walk you through in this process all right the next part here is give it a name again playstation 5 i'll be doing 3074 again the device you can go ahead and select the um your playstation 5 the external port is 3074 and this is also a TCP click Save all right so we open up the 3074 now the next part here is we need to do 3478 PS5 3478 select your PlayStation 3478 3478 and again this is the TCP port and click save we need to add a couple more here PlayStation 5 3479 click on your PlayStation again 
3479. Click TCP again and click save. You add one more here. Just give it a name, PS4 3480. We have port forwarding 3480, 3480. And this is your TCP. Click save. Now we have port forwarded all the TCP port here that is required for your PlayStation 5. Now we're going to work on the UDP as well. So the next step is to add the UDP and the UDP port would be PS5, we're going to name 3074, 3074, 3074, and this would be the UDP, click save, we add a couple more here, PS5, 3478, select the PS5, 3478, 3478, and this is the UDP, and add one last one, PS5, 3479, select your PlayStation, 3479, 3479 and this is your UDP click save so we are all done and let's take a quick look here so these are the port for the TCP 1935 3474 TCP 3478 3479 3480 the UDP would be 3474 uh, sorry 3074 3478 3479 so once you have port forwarded all these numbers and your playstation you just go ahead and restart it um, you should be able to see type 1 all the um, yeah the type 1 means uh, unrestricted network on your playstation 5 i hope this i hope this video is helpful uh, if you find it helpful please click the like and subscribe and i hope you learned something today so thanks for watching until next time bye now